Dark Souls. Dark Souls. The sequel to Demon Souls. So this is the insane difficulty walkthrough. Oh wait, there's no difficulty settings. This whole fucking game is insane. Oh. Um, so I'm doing something a little bit different. I normally don't do this for walkthroughs, but um, I just wanted to get a video out quickly showing off the beginning kind of tutorial section of the game and showing um, a good, uh, like what class to start with and like the, you know, the opening boss and all that. So start a new game, uh, enter character name. What should I call him? A beeper. Beeper. Uh, e -E. Beeper. Sex doesn't matter. Class. This matters. Um, the important. So as you go through all the different classes, you can see the different stats changing, and like what level you get and all that. Um, but the important thing to know is is that it doesn't matter what class you choose. Um, they all. You can put your, you can level up any ability to whatever you want. So if you start off as a warrior and you want to end up trying being a sorcerer, you can do that throughout the length of the game. It's not recommended, but um, yeah. So I would go with warrior to start, um, unless you really know what you're doing. I'm going to be starting off with a warrior class, and it's just a well-balanced class at the start. Um, Good strength, good health, you get a uh, good sword and shield to start off with so you can block all the attacks at the very beginning of the game. Um, the gift is also an important choice early on. Um, important thing to know here is that there are only two things of this list that you can't just get in game. Um, the, where is it? Uh, the pendant and the master key. These two items are the only ones I would choose from. Uh, the pendant, uh, apparently it has some story effects mm -hmm. later on in the game. Like some character will notice that you have it, and that's important. <laughs> um, the master key, if you choose the thief as your starting class, then you get that as well. So if you want to really max it out, go with a thief class and choose the pendant. Because there's no other way to get both of these items throughout the entire game. So I'm going to choose the master key. Because this is a guide just to get through the game, basically. Um, physique, face, hair color, all that kind of stuff doesn't really matter. Oh, it does. Does it? Yes. Well, I, I just want to get this video moving along. Female, very large. <laughs> very large. Be a, he be a chick, though. Be a chick? For yeah. the full walkthrough? Yeah, why not? I don't know. <laughs> You've never been a chick for a full walkthrough unless the game made you be a chick. That's a good point. I doubt I've done a full walkthrough for a game where I was a chick very in the first slim. place. Very slim. All right, very slim. Um, you're going to have to be staring at that ass the whole game. <laughs> exactly. Got some sort of Far East <laughs> Is that, Japanese. That sounds racist. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I'll do... Uh, Deep a store African. Of royalty. So, so a store of royalty is probably yeah. like the um, centuries of inbreeding of royalty <laughs> in the deep in Congo. Was that no, the not black deep Congo. Uh, I don't care. Commoner hair, shaved. Ugh. Hopefully, there's a hilarious choice. Pigtails, <laughs> a bun. Oh, I thought it was gonna be like Princess Leia buns. That's too bad. Braided. Eh. Pigtails. Pigtails. Color. Going blonde. Silver. Purple. Purple. Dark purple. Dark herbal. Dude, that, that, this looks way too like. <laughs> Light herbal. Uh, JRPG with <laughs> okay. purple hair. I don't like it. All right. Even though she's wearing a hat. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> like you're you're gonna be so covered up with armor for most of this game that it doesn't even fucking matter. So, I'm not wasting too much of the time, but... Well, that's why I just didn't give a shit about that first part, because I just wanted to get through it, and I don't really fucking care about it. It's important. And it doesn't affect... No, it's not important, because you don't see any of that throughout the entire game. Well, uh, you're screwed now. You're a chick. Yep. So, what other stuff that I want to talk about? So, that is... Those two things are the most important things to know at the beginning. Um, I'm going to have... I'm going to create another video with my character that's quite a bit further along throughout the game. 
um, uh, describing a little bit more advanced combat stuff. Um, That's the crappiest sword I've ever seen. It's a broken sword. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it, it's the hilt of a sword, and that's it. And that's the boss you're going to be killing shortly. Um, there's these messages. These first messages are just messages put there by the developers. Um, so you can read them if you want, but I've already read them all, so I'm not going to waste my time. Uh, B is roll. Uh, whatever direction you're going. If you're just standing still and you hit B, you do a little bit of a jump back, but I never use that. Uh, you can also kind of do it in an assassination move if you're behind a guy and you can kick people and stuff like that. But again, I'll get into all those techniques later on. These first dudes are very easy to kill. They don't even fight, I don't think. I like the fact that you can't screw yourself totally right off the bat. I do too. A lot. <laughs> uh, read message. So, the bonfires. These are important. These are checkpoints, basically. When you die, you will go back to a bonfire. Um, the bonfires are also where you're going to restore your health pots. Ah. Uh, um, which are very important. So now, the first boss fight of the game. Pot equals health. Got it. Yep. So. Uh, oh, come on. There we go. And you can roll through the pots. But right now you're just running away from that boss. You will fight him later. I I wonder if you can kill that boss with just this sword. I doubt it because you don't have a shield. That'd be fucking crazy. But, um, hey, another bonfire. Warm up your tootsies. <laughs> uh, sure. Um, nothing down there? Okay. Ah, uh, here we go. Uh-oh. I got hit with an arrow. So now I got my shield. Um, to bring up the menu, you hit start, and then you can go to browse items and use like consumable items or hit right bumper to change equipment. Um, this first row is your, or these first two squares are your right hand. And you can choose two different swords if you want. Um, and then hit right bumper when you're in game to cycle between them, or, or you can have like a sword and a bow and arrow, mm -hmm. so you can cycle between those quickly without having to go to the menu. Uh, the second two underneath it are the left hand, and I'm going to put a shield on there. And then this la uh, this bottom four here are the different uh, equipment that you can use up Hat, here. Hat, shirt, gloves, pants. Yep. Spectacles, testicles, wallet, and watch. No uh, shoes. Nope. Well, they're no, combined these with are pants. Boots. Leggings, I guess. Um, then these four up here, or these five, are the consumable items that you can cycle between quickly during combat uh, to like either teleport home or cure poison or uh, potions, most importantly. Um, so, now that I got a shield, just hold. So, left bumper and left trigger control the left hand, right bumper and right stick control the right hand. And I got a long sword, so I'm gonna equip that. Does a lot more damage. Um, so just holding left bumper uh, does um, like it, it holds your shield out. It's gonna block any attacks. Uh, hitting left trigger does kind of like the strong attack. Right trigger also does the strong sword stab, which is a lot slower, and I rarely use it compared to the left bumper, which is like the quick sword stab. Right bumper. Right. That's yes. So now that I'm up to this guy, just swipe him a couple times with the right bumper, and he goes down quickly. Um, so I just... Uh, every enemy that I've killed, I've earned souls from so far. And I'll explain what souls are later, but basically they're the currency in the game. You can spend souls to upgrade your equipment. You can spend souls to um, uh, repair your equipment. You spend souls to level up. You spend souls to fix the frame rate. Uh, nope, that's only in the PlayStation version. <laughs> you can't fix frame rate. So, uh, so get through this part. You You're can see playing on the Xbox. I'm playing on the Xbox. I, I don't think there's any difference between the versions other than the Xbox. It's probably the inferior version because it was ported to it. But anyway, so there's a roll. There's a Indiana Jones boulder up there. Just roll out of the way. Take a few steps up, and it's going to knock out this wall. You can talk to the student here for a bit if you want. Tell him yes. Yep. And now he gives me an Estus flask. So you can hold potions? 
Yes. So now I have five potions. Um, so on the so you can see in the bottom left corner, I've got my shield on the left D pad, sword on the right D pad. On the bottom, I got my Estus flask. If you have multiple items equipped, you can cycle through them by hitting down on the D pad. But I only got that right now. To use the item on the bottom, you hit X, which is important to remember. Not down on the D pad or A. It, it, it doesn't correspond. Oh. You know, geographically to where it is, you see, which kind of screwed me up a bit early on. Um, so if you haven't played Dark Souls, this is an important thing to kind of learn. So right now, I, w I walk down instead of going up, and you might recognize this area that I'm in. Yes, your first bonfire. Yes, this is the first bonfire. So now I've kind of reset my checkpoint to this opening spot. I've also healed. I've also reset. Boss. I've also reset all the enemies mm -hmm. that... Um, I've killed. So going to a bonfire resets everything, except for bosses. Like, there's boss characters that will not respawn um, when you do that. I don't think that boulder respawns either. Okay, it doesn't. Um, but this guy's there. Uh-oh. Oh. So, just a question. Did you install yep. this game? I have not yet. I should. I'm going to do that uh, as soon as we finish recording this. So you needed that key to get through here. Me a couple dudes up here. So, um, yeah, like I was saying about before, Dark Souls, there's a lot of this kind of, uh, how do you explain that, cloverleaf um, patterns to this game. I see. Where, yeah. Aw. Where, like, you, you make your way through and then you let down a ladder and that makes it a lot easier to kind of get back to where you want to be, right? Um... I'd say it's or, like Zelda. Yeah, it's like Zelda. Like they, they they give you shortcuts. Or Arkham Asylum. Yes, like 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 a lot of games like that. So it's important to explore a lot of different places. <gasps> oh man, I in my playthrough, I found the key to this door, and I couldn't remember where the fuck it was. But now I know. And that was much later on in the game. So don't plan on finding the key to that door anytime soon. So enemies can use potions too. So. Fucking stab them. <laughs> While they're using it? Yeah. So, um, even though I have the master key, it doesn't open everything, I guess. I, I didn't get the master key in my first playthrough, so I don't honestly know what all that opens. Um, but anyway. So, this is the boss. Typically, when you traverse white light, that means there's a boss or a tough section coming up. Um, and in here, it's going to be that big biggest boss that I ran from before, and you can kind of do lunging attack, or not lunging, dropping attacks on these guys by just falling and then hitting uh, right bumper as you fall on them, right? That did some huge damage. Yeah, that did a lot of damage to him. Butthole. Unfortunately, yep. Hit it. Poke it. Uh-oh. So... Caress it. I'll get, like I said before, I'm going to get into more detail oh shit, about the combat later. But normally you can... Uh, Block most attacks. Oh god, run! Oh shit. Uh oh. And roll out of the way of shit and use health potions to revive or to live. Oh god, I'm dead. Oh shit, I can't believe I lived through that. So this game's not easy. And <laughs> it really doesn't fucking start off easy. Oh my god, fucking let me get out of here. I'm trying to make a tutorial. <laughs> hey, asshole. Be sensitive to our needs. Yep. So doing things like rolling uh, uses endurance, and blocking uses endurance, and uh, uh, holding your shield up makes your endurance regenerate slower, which is important to know. And um, so, so you just can't, keep like you can't attack so, yeah, if you have no just, endurance. You can't attack. Oh yeah, attacking uses endurance. Um, Blocking, yeah. So just keep blocking his attacks, wait for him to take a couple swipes. This game is all about like pattern recognition and memorization and just taking the opportunities that the bosses give you, like countering their attacks. Um, I really want to know if you can kill this opening boss with just that sword hilt without <laughs> running away. Killed him. Alright, so he's not too bad. You'll find some bosses later on that are fucking crazy. So, you defeated. Poor Japanese translation. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, I defeated him. Uh, and that... 
I still hear a big motherfucker stomping around. Maybe I didn't kill that boss. Or the one that I saw through the gate. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'll have to come back here in my other playthrough. Um, so anyway. Uh, yeah. So you run up here. And that is the end of the tutorial. Um, I will, yeah, like I said, there'll be a couple more videos for more basics and explaining how humanity works and more about souls. And uh, But hopefully that was enough to get you through the beginning of the game. Thanks for watching.